Imagine launching a product after months of designing, engineering, and marketing only to know that nobody can use it. That's a nightmare of all product teams and it's our job as product designers or product managers to prevent that to happen. Today, I will show you how to use Maze and Figma to start getting insights like this, where you can see a heat map or a video recording of how people use your prototype. You can start getting data like number of Maze clicks and time spent per task and all fully remotely. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Before jumping into Maze, I want to show you what I have here in Figma and I found this cool designs for a job search app in the Figma community and I will put the link in the description. For this example, let's say that we want to test the feature to save jobs. And so basically for the usability test, we want to know if users can discover and use the feature successfully without needing any external guidance. And that's the main purpose. But of course, you also want to know how much time it takes for them to complete the task and how many missed clicks they do and stuff like that. And all those things we can get from Maze. And apart from the designs, we also need to build here in Figma the prototype flow. And I already finished that part. So if I go here in prototype, you can see that all my frames are already connected. And this is how it looks. I have this short splash screen and then it goes straight to the homepage. For this example, we're going to assume that the user already has an account and is logging. We're not going to be testing any sign up or login flow. The user is looking for a product designer job. So they see this Google offer. They click, they like the requirements and they want to apply later because they don't have time right now. So they see this bookmark icon on the top. They click, they save the job. They come later. They're looking for the same job. They see the same icon on the navigation bar. So they click, they see the job again. They click, they want to apply here because they have the time right now. They click on apply now. They attach their resume. They select the profile for product designers and they don't have a cover letter for this example. So they apply and they get to the successful screen. That's all we want to test in this task. And that's all we need from Figma too. We're going to come later to copy and paste this prototype flow link to Maze. But right now, let's jump into Maze. After creating your account and logging in, you have these two options. And we're going to go and create a new project for us will be job search app. And your project is like a folder where you can have multiple tests. And to create a new test, you come here and new Maze. And Maze offers a couple of templates to save some time. And we even have nine templates for usability tests. But unfortunately, the ones that are more tailored for this use case, uh, for example, test app usability or test feature usability, are both premium and I want to keep this tutorial completely free for you. So we're going to start from scratch. The way you build a new test here in Maze is by adding blocks to your test. And the first block comes by default. That is the welcome screen. And the free account, you cannot change this welcome screen, but the description here is very general and works very well with almost any type of test. So we're going to add the first block and that will be the context screen. And here you have multiple different type of blocks. You have mission is where you, where do you make the user interact with your prototype? You have yes, no questions. You have opinions, Kel, we're going to be using this later but we want to now add some context for the user. And here I will add some text. So it's always good to give some introduction for the user so they don't get something completely unexpected. Then we're going to add a new block and this will be our mission where the user will be interacting with our prototype. And our first task will be to save a job offer. And here we can add a little more description. And then here's where we need to link our Figma prototype to Maze. And the first time you link Maze to, to Figma, it will ask you to log into your Figma to give permission to Maze. But that will only happen the first time. So here we need to paste the prototype link. 
And so we come here in Figma and we copy this link. Remember the link under flow, not the link of your designs. They're the link of your of your prototype. And then paste it here, import. And it will take some seconds here. And then you will be able to see your prototype. And now we need to show Maze, which one is the the end state and which one is the path that we want the user to take so to save a job we want the user to click here and then to click here and that's it and now we can go to preview and see what the user will see so they will get the mission save a job the description they will click on get started then let's say the user clicks here and then click here and then automatically get they get a, a success screen good right after our mission i will ask the user about their opinion so i will use the opinion scale and here i will say that how and uh, will you describe the process of saving a job offer and here we can say that i want this to be a scale of one to five being one very difficult and being five very easy and here immediately we see a preview of what the user will see they have a scale of one to five being one very difficult five very easy and then after that, I want to add my second mission, and this one will be apply to the job offer you just save. And here again, we need to show the path, but in this case, we want to change the starting screen and we select our second home page. Then we want the user to come here. Look at the safe job offers, click here, apply now, apply and get to the success screen. And that's it. We can preview this again. Apply to job offer, the offer to just save, get started. Click here, click the offer, apply, apply, and that's it. Again, right after this one, I want to use an opinion scale, but instead of creating a new one, I can actually just duplicate this one, move it here, and I want to change the title, describe the process of applying to a save job offer. And the scale will be the same from one to five being one very difficult bring five very easy and then after this one i want to add a last as so a last question i want it to be an open question saying um could you tell us what was unclear and that's it so now you can preview the entire maze by clicking here in preview and here we have the entire flow. Remember that the user will not be able to skip screens like what we're doing right now. Like for example, we can go to this one, we can go back. The user will not have this side menu, we'll only have this section. So this is what the user will see. We have uh, an, an introduction screen. We have some instructions here and then get started. We have uh, the, our context screen. We have the first mission. They will complete the mission, clicking here and save. Then they continue. They will ask for their opinion. Let's see a four. Then here again, get started. You have to say job, click here, apply, apply, get to the success screen. And then we have another opinion scale. And finally, an open question. Could you tell us what was unclear? Continue and that's it. Once we feel comfortable with our test, we can start testing. Before that, I will change the name of our maze to save job offer. And then I will click, here we have a confirmation. 
then I will click on start testing. You cannot do any change after you launch your, your maze. So make sure that everything works well. We already made our, our preview test, so we are good to go live. I click on go live and then I have this cool animation and this is your your dashboard once you have a test live here you will see you able to share the link and you will see also the results once we have results and to share the link we have a couple of options and I always just copy the link and make my own emails because I usually contact the, our current users for these type of tests, but they also have an option where you can hire their panel to contact users. So you kind of here you can select the number of users you want to test, and you pay for the number of users. But I never use the service. I as I like I mentioned, I always just copy the link and put it in my in my email campaign. There are other cool features in Maze that I didn't mention. And my favorite one is the ability to record the screen of the testers. So you don't only get their responses, but also see how they are using your product. And just to summarize what we did, we have our designs in Figma. We create our prototype view. Then we come to Maze. We create a project. Within a project, we create a Maze or a test. And we start building these tests by adding blocks. First, we start with a context. Um, block then we add a mission that's where we link our prototype and immediately after that we ask for opinion and finally we end with an open question to gather any other data that we didn't ask once we launch our maze this is our dashboard and here we're gonna be able to share the link once we start getting responses you will see them on results and you will also have the chance to create a report similar to what we saw in the introduction I hope you learned something helpful today. And if you're curious to learn more about product design, subscribe to my channel. I see you on my next video. Bye-bye.